What's up, y'all? What's going on? This is Radio Anthrax giving you a live commentary about Battlefield 4. When Battlefield 4 first came out, until today, between all the patches, and it Battlefield dead. This is dead. This is this is Battlefield really dying. My opinion, I don't think Battlefield is done at all. But, you know, they got a big coat on Battlelog saying, uh, yeah, Battlefield's dead, Battlefield's dying. The game is super broken, you know, that good stuff, man. But I say, um, and that's another reason I ain't get Battlefield for the Xbox 360, you know what I'm saying? I play for the Xbox One. Uh, you know, I decided not to get it for the 360 because I know 360 gonna have big problems with this game coming out. So I decided to skip it. And plus, the 12v12 is like I can't play another Battlefield game. 12v12 is not the real experience, Battlefield experience that a player should go through. Be playing a watered down, dumbed down version of the game. I want to feel what the PC players is going through witness the PC way of playing with all out, with all out chaos and warfare hold on let me just spark my secret up real quick man I'm keeping it real man a lot of commentary man I'm gonna shut this shit up what get in the battlefield 4 rough start man it's rough it's rough especially for the PC players man and uh current well, the old consoles, you can say the old now, you know what I'm saying? Since the Xbox One and PS PS4 is out. You know. That's a rough stuff for them, man. You know what I'm saying? And now when, um... When Xbox One PS4 came out, we had our problems too. With server crashes, it's like PC. In the 360, server lags, hit detection, net coding all that good stuff that almost buried Battlefield 4 to the truth Battlefield 4 almost died it's almost literally died they pissed off a lot of consumers they pissed off a lot of players man pissed off and I ain't gonna lie to you man first time playing uh, Battlefield 4 on the next gen you know what I'm saying I never raged so much in the game all yeah, battlefield games, man. I never raged so much in the game. I like yo. I should be winning these gunfights that I usually win. But I can drop one bullet. I empty a whole magazine on the dude head. He turn around. Wow. Drop it one time and take me out. And that's like that really pissed me off, man. But I stuck with it. I stuck with the fight, man. I stuck with it, you know what I'm saying. But dice, better get your act together. Bad for five, come out, man. You better not. You better not drop another game bug like this ever again. You better learn from mistakes. Learn from it. You know. And uh, to the current gen players out there, man, that's saying all oh, Battlefield 4 sucks. All that I seen on the battle log, man. You can, I mean, you got to expect you playing a 12v12 watered down version of the game, man. Of course, it's gonna be doo doo. Of course, this game gonna suck to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Once you experience this 32v32 games, man, going on in Conquest Lodge, man, you have a different view of the game, man. I bet you a amount of money. All the players on Xboxes, Xbox 360, and the PS3, saying Battlefield 4 suck. When they come to next gen, they're gonna change the whole way of thinking. It's gonna be fun, man. It was fun to even throw the bugs and crash, and the game was still fun. That's why the other players is kind of upset that the state the game came out on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that hit detection is real. Important dice gotta fix the hit detection. 
they gotta fix it, man. They have to fix hit detection and the net coding, man. That's real important, man. Bullets run a corner shit. Was back then in Battlefield 3, is back in Battlefield 4 now, man. You know what I'm saying? And they got another net code issue that somebody, you think you get stabbed from the front, man, but really the dude's right behind you, man. How that possible? It was just like that in Battlefield 3, and some players know how to execute that glitch to perfection and just take your tags from the front really they right behind you because they screen they eyes they on the side of you but in your, in your, in your point of view that player is in your face some players know how to execute that you know what I'm saying they know how to execute it but Patch after patch after patch came out, man. They dropped several patches. The game was getting better, a little better, man. This, the only thing I understand when I need certain bombs in the battle log, like this January 3rd, this January 30 patch came out. You know, some players get good feedback on the patch, and other players don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm talking about consoles, point of view. You know what I'm saying? Xbox, everybody. Got Xbox One, got the same console. Everybody got a PS4, got the same PS4 console. It's just nothing different, like you know. How certain players got different patch reactions. It's not PC. Somebody got a low end PC, or somebody got a good rig PC. A lot of power in it. You know what I'm saying? Consoles built the same. There's no special consoles. You know what I'm saying. So how these players is getting? Different feedback from the patches. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing I don't get. You know, it's mind boggling. You know what I'm saying? See some players, oh, the patch sucks. I crash more. The hit detection got worse. Blow that player, quote that. Oh, that's what found me. I got less lag. Oh, hit detection got way better. I never lag out of game for the past four hours I was playing. You know what I'm saying? For me, the patch is good. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably crash out of server maybe like once out of a whole week. I see the hit detection pulled a little bit. Yeah, that nigga fucked me up that C4, man. I was pissed off. I should have saw that motherfucker coming, but. Yeah, man. But the patch. It's a good patch, man. Good patch. It's, the game gonna get better down the line. It's like Battlefield 3. As you remember, Battlefield 3 when it first came out, same issues, bugs, crashes, and who could forget the infamous God Gun? Who can't forget the God Gun? Can anybody name the God Gun? Hmm? It's the dart. The on the slug dart. That thing was deadly that's why they call it god gun you can literally go in metro locker room and get a collateral kill from a headshot you drop at least four to five six seven players at once one shot to the head they drop like dominoes man it was very funny man that glitch was bad <laughs> players abused it with passion yes i'm guilty i was one of them man Couple of my friends I was playing with, you know what I'm saying? At this time, nine millimeter man, you abuse that glitch. Liquid duties. Small <laughs> boy right there, man. But yeah, we abused the shit out that fucking weapon, man. Shoot the beast. But that was a serious glitch that needed to be fixed, though. To tell the truth, man, I'm drink my tea real quick and go to sleep. So excuse me. Hit some slurps. Pause. But um, yeah. But the January 30th patch just came out, man. It's pretty good, man. That patch so is pretty good. You gotta keep moving to the right direction, man. You know what I'm saying I don't think they fix the hit detection. It's about they, I feel a little proven in the hit detection. The net coding a little off still. They have to take a couple more patches to nail down. If they can at least get the hit detection like Battlefield 3. Had the net coding like Battlefield 3, man. The game should be alright. You know what I'm saying? What pissed me off? 
over the summertime. It was the Battle for Alpha live stream, the four day event. One of the dice developers said, Our neck code is improved. He working so hard in the neck code. Y'all gonna be happy with this neck code. What the fuck happened, man? What the fuck happened? Did y'all know all the time the netcode's fucked up, but you're gonna go on a live stream and tell the Battlefield community that the netcode's vastly improved? That case, if that's the case, y'all lied to everybody's face and y'all deserve the negative feedback. You never lied to your community or fan base. Cause we putting money in your motherfuckers' pockets to keep this game moving and produce Battlefield 5 and beyond projects. I think it's bullshit. I remember that. What his exact words, but I remember he's, they said the net code improved. Get the fuck out of here. That bullshit. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? And, um. I think. Yeah, the buffing and the nerfings, things like that. With this patch on the January 30th patch, man, they fucking uh, buffed the, the DMRs. You know what I'm saying? DMR's got a buff. Uh, that's that's subject. That's a tough subject to talk about because in the community they got mis emotions about that, man. You know what I'm saying? I was a big fan of SKS back in Battlefield 3. Some people call it a spamming gun. My opinion is not really a spamming gun. Just people got that sugar fingers. You know what I'm saying? If you use it right, mid range, long range. You know what I'm saying? But come on now. What if somebody flanked around the corner right in your face? What the fuck are you gonna do? You gonna hit fire the shit out of them, you know what I'm saying? So how that spamming? You know what I'm saying? You gotta like defend yourself. I don't call that the spamming up close, you know what I'm saying? I just use it running around flank people, you know what I'm saying? Hit fire the shit out of them, drop them. You know? Yes, SKS got weaker off better for three. And still is since the patch. Still a little bit weaker. But I still use it. I normally use it. I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm I still use it. I'll drop you. You know what I'm saying? I hop out of cover. See you coming up to me. I'll bust you with a headshot. Body shots. Take you out. You know what I'm saying? But did they have to buff it? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. But some people kind of pissed off. Now, a lot of people are going to use DMRs now. It's, you know, it's all kid weapons. And it's somebody wants to use DMR, so be it. You know what I'm saying? Heat of the battle. You know what I'm saying? There's no rules what they to use. You want to use that particular weapon, so be it. it if a whole five man squad is using DMRs, they a five man squad with DMRs. So you got to learn how to fucking handle that. Teamwork. Teamwork is OP. Not the weapon. You know? And the next patch, they go on, you know, do the heavy barrels, pistols, the attack chopper, and that good stuff, man. I don't see what's that about. You know, the attack chopper is a whole different subject. You know, my opinion, I want the chopper back as Battlefield 3, man. Agility. I miss the fun factor. You know what I'm saying? It's the fun factor. Just flying that chopper and heat of the battle, get hit with a stinger. You know what I'm saying? The chopper got no speed. You could bust around a, a mountain or a building, land it, and you're gonna parry real quick and get back in the heat of the battle, man. Now it's like you hit with a stinger, slows you down, man. And six to four player conquest, man. You know how many other people have stingers gonna take you out while you're on that mobile malfunction. So they made it chop a little bit hard, man. Some people call it a flying coffin sound, man. Some people adjusted it. Got good at the choppers. You know, cause they, in game, they were just, only thing they do is fly choppers. You know what I'm saying? But the infantry game just ain't that great. See the difference? That's why they mastered the chopper in the state now. 
you know, I'm infantry and the air combat is choppers, you know what I'm saying? But right now, I'll fly the, the Z11, this little bird, more than a tap chopper. But small bird, little bird got more agility, you know what I'm saying? So I could use the speed for my advantage. And nothing, the 25 mm cannon ain't gonna make a difference. You know, a good play in that bird is still gonna wipe a squad out at the cannons. You know. But, Battlefield Dice, get your game up, man. I got faith in these guys, I got faith in Dice, man. I was playing the game since back of the tool, man, and there was bugs, glitches from the beginning to start the ending, it came out great, man. I think Battlefield 4 will be the same way. It's gonna be great, I say by springtime, summertime, man, the game will be nearly and was perfect. You know what I'm saying? The hit detection that code still remain to be seen. But you know, they gotta get the thing they gotta get together, man. Bottom line. What's EA Dice Down for was they trying to compete with Call of Duty and they crossed over a little bit for the Call of Duty fans. You know what I'm saying? They make kind of weapons easy to use. They buffed the hell out the aim assist better before. The aim assist is ugly. It's fucking ugly, dude. <laughs> it's fucking horrendous. That's part of my rage too because I don't use aim assist and you know. A noob, a level 3, could outgun some of the pros sometimes, man, because if they know how to use the aim assist correctly, it just. Imagine Battlefield had no aim assist like PC for consoles, man. Imagine there's no aim assist, everybody just equal. Whoever, whoever had the best accuracy wins, whoever got better tactics wins, whoever flanks to perfection wins. You know what I'm saying that's why people get them crazy ass hip fires because the aim assist up them up. You know what I'm saying? And that's getting to you know the casual newcomers to the Battlefield series come coming from all over there from Call of Duty. You know, you know what I'm saying? And that's another cry in the Battlefield community too about the aim assist. Just keep going battle log on the forums, you see a lot of form. A lot of topics about aim assist, man. I, I agree. I agree, people. The aim assist is not supposed to be in the first place. It should be all strictly accurate. You know what I'm saying? Some people say, oh, you can't, um, you can't be accurate with a controller. Yes, you can. Just practice, you can, man. You don't need a keyboard and mouse to be accurate. You know what I'm saying? Battlefield 4 is like a big aimbot. Aimbot conquest. Ain't bot series, ain't bot field, you know. So I hope they address that soon. Upcoming patches, man. At least they don't have to t take out the aim assist. Just make it back to battle for three or back to two. How it was, you know what I'm saying? It was that strong. How battle for four is very strong, man. My experience in game so far, you know. But. They trying to compete with Call of Duty, man. They just got casual all of a sudden. It's not like Battlefield, how I used to know it back then. The back, back then and back in the tool. You know. It was fun as hell. You know? Not a lot of bullshit going on. Battlefield 4 had the chance to take out Call of Duty, man. Cod Ghost, man, I heard became horrible. People don't even talk about that game no more, man. If Battlefield 4 was perfect, they could have ended these dudes. They could have ended. Take all their customers and everything, man. They could have wiped out Call of Duty if they wanted to, but they fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They fucked up, man. They fucked up. Battlefield, Battlefield is still a better franchise 
better game play than Call of Duty. It's always been, you know what I'm saying? This Battlefield series was in the back seat. Call of Duty was like Hokomania, man. So it was running around. Everybody know about Call of Duty. Call of Duty was a household name, man. You know what I'm saying? I bet you when Bin Laden was hot in Afghanistan or Pakistan inside the mountains or in the safer houses, man, he was playing Call of Duty, man. <laughs> That's how big a name it was. People in Afghanistan and Iraq know about Call of Duty, man. You know what I'm saying? Battlefield series. Got a little. Got a little light daylight from Battlefield 3. You know what I'm saying? We're getting recognitions. Recognition is whatever that word is, man. Getting recognized. Because, you know what I'm saying, the Call of Duty community was getting tired of COD and they ways bring out the same game every year, every year, every year, every year. You know what I'm saying? So the Call of Duty community got a little frustrated. Went to the Battlefield series to test it out. I'll tell you one thing, the ones that went to Battlefield series fell in love with Battlefield, man. It's like I was it. You know what I'm saying? Me, I got started in Call of Duty in Modern Warfare 2. I was in Iraq. I played it. You know, I, it was fun. It was alright. You know what I mean? But, you know what I'm saying? I got introduced to Bad Company 2, man. That was it. I never played another Call of Duty game ever again. Ever. I tried a Black Ops. I bought it, but I gave it away. Like, three days later, I gave the game away, man. I like, fucked this shit. Not me, I don't like this shit. I like tanks. Warfare. You know what I'm saying? I'm a military veteran, man. I like to see jets flying around, helicopters blowing shit up, infantry combat going crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? But, Battlefield crept up. on know, man. And Battlefield, you ain't dice, better be careful. There's no other franchise out there looking at the Battlefield mistakes and use it on them next. It's like Battlefield did the Call of Duty, man. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Excuse me. It'll be interesting. <coughs> It'll be definitely be interesting. Man. What if? What if? What if? Armor. That armor series on PC? That military simulator? What if armor decided, you know what? Let's do an armor version of Battlefield. Let's do this. Let's let's take out this Battlefield series, man. We got the power to do it. Man. To tell you the truth, man. If Armor decide to make a Battlefield spinoff, but still keep the Armor version, military simulator, realistic, and do the little spinoff version, uh, Armor simulator, fun factor game like Battlefield, man. Battlefield, Battlefield movie. Armor could bury Battlefield, man. It, I definitely could, man. If you look at that armor game, man, what the customization of the weapons, the characters, man, you can pick your own race in the character. You can pick black, white, Chinese. You can pick, you can customize your own goddamn uniform and shit. Corner. They got SWAT mods, they got British uniform, German uniform, Australians, they got combat scuba diving gears, man. That's when he got that man. He stuck with his bullshit ass. Five color camos and shit with a hundred gun camos. Man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let armor make a battlefield version of armor, man. I think battlefield then we step the game up. I think armor will bring it to battlefield, man. I don't be surprised. It's armor waiting. You never know. I'm just guessing, speculating, man. Armor could be in meetings right now, as we speak, waiting for the time to get at Battlefield, man. Don't be surprised they would do it. Be surprised. Don't be surprised. And Armor make a Battlefield version of their game, man. Consoles for all next gen PC. Like Armor spinoff to the original series, man. You heard it here first, man. Be surprised. But yeah, yeah. Man. Pretty awesome. For the first motherfucker who said that shit. That's why I say this. Battle for the future is on them. Don't make the same mistakes Call of Duty did. Fix your core gameplay. Stick to Battle for Values. 
don't cross over that. Make this game competitive. First person shooter. Don't go casual. Don't go casual. Cause this is a business. Gaming is still a business. And Battlefield got competitors watching their mistakes, watching the Battlefield community getting angry at Battlefield. Just like Battlefield watching the Call of Duty community. Backlash in the Call of Duty. Somebody out there watching. It might be armor. So dice step your game up. I got faith in you boys, man. Don't let that next franchise come out of nowhere and just wreck havoc. Have better gameplay. They go up the core values on point. No aim assist, none of that crap. Did y'all put in your gameplay, man? Just come out and take all your take half your community into this. And y'all gonna be hurt like hopefully. Don't let that happen. Because nine out of ten, this might happen. Hope Duty had a good run for years. Battlefield got next. You know, after a while, somebody else gonna have next. It might be armor. Who knows? Might be another franchise. But dice, Just be on point, man. Fix this game. If this is a live commentary, Battlefield 4 is dead or alive. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos from me, Radio Anthrax, subscribe to my channel, y'all. Peace.